Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargaming.com. Welcome, Wargamers, to a very special video. A video where I'm going to show off a piece of awesomeness. I contacted Nick from Worthy Painting, and I asked him to paint a model for me. Now, this model is special because he is an HQ, and he is a pretty big deal in the Chaos Army. And I went back to my Chaos roots and added to my Chaos Army because I wanted to uh, include this guy in the rejects and also in battle reports and in places where he can protect people when bad things are happening. Nick got his painter, Daniel Twiss, to paint this model. Daniel is a four-time Golden Demon winner, and he is ridiculously awesome at painting models. And he went all out on this model. Take a look, ladies and gentlemen, at Abaddon the Despoiler. All right, let's put him in the light. So he gets a, uh, hold on, let me hold him up here. There we go. That's a little bit better. The video does not do this guy justice at all. You can't tell how awesomely he's painted from the video. I'm sure he looks awesome alone by the video itself, but it's just in person, it's just so much better. I wish you guys could be here with me just to take a look at this guy. The face is so crisp and clear. The armor has this effect painted on it where it looks like his skeleton is there's like a spinal bone skeleton design on his armor just to add to the chaotic flavor and they added a blood angel helmet there just just for my enjoyment his sword I could never wet blend like that that's just not fair. And let's let's take a look at the eye of terror that they painted into his shoulder pad. Worthy painting. You have done it once again. Oh man. Okay, so now I know where to go for all of my subsequent HQs that I want painted because Abaddon, you're just beautiful. You're absolutely gorgeous. And I mean that in every way possible. Look at you. Look at you. You put all my other models to shame. You realize that, right? Oh, man. I'm so excited to field you in battle. Yeah, I can't wait. It just... I want to see you tear some stuff up because it's going to be so much fun. Okay. That's the model. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you would like your models to be painted to this awesome quality, contact Mini War... Contact Mini War... Well, you could contact us, but more importantly, contact Worthy Painting. I've included a link to their website in this video and also in the video description for this video. Contact them for your models to be awesomely painted just like this. It's a very simple video. Just a video showing off how awesomely painted this model is. That's, that's all it is, really. Because that's all it needs to be. Nothing more needs to happen. All right, let's go in for a real, real close close-up. It's a real close close-up of chaos. Totally dumbfounded. I don't even know what to say. I'm excited in so many ways. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait for stuff to happen. Somebody just threw up their guts. In the other room, that's how awesome this guy's painted. 
Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Nick. Worthy painting. You guys are rock stars. <sighs> I just love it so much. It's I gotta tell somebody. That is awesome. What do you say? What's your professional opinion? Uh, professional opinion? Like the technical terminology would be, this is awesome. This is a really wonderful paint job. The colors, I love that sword. The color transitions and such. That's just great. His face details. That real pallid, pallid look to his flesh. It's a nice color scheme on him. It's really subdued. The painted texture on his armor is really nice too. Give it that real kind of extraterrestrial kind of quality, or even like a like a demon. You know, his ar his armor is becoming alive. It's very uh, Geiger esque. It's de it's definitely quality work that I would expect of somebody who's won awards. Examining this model pretty closely in here. Mm -hmm. So, from what you can see. Lighting's kind of poor, but... So you get points on his armor where he's created um, the sense of texture where your eye thinks you see a texture on that armor. Now, it's a black base coat, but very carefully he's added about two or three transitions of color um, with the pointillism. So very carefully he's laid out a base color in little lines and with a, the next lighter color uh, using pointillism he has created these very fine 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 lines in the thing without blending the two colors your eye automatically does the work and so you believe you're seeing a color transition when in fact there is none. It's your eye that completes that color transition, and so it, it creates that false sense of depth, which is really nice. And to do all that all over the black areas of the model is, is very painstaking. Uh, especially like you can notice on the legs. You'll see there's probably about two or three color transitions in there, but to get into the po points in behind the calf areas closest to the loincloth, uh, that's, those are some very difficult spots to get into. The texturing like all over the model is, is really wonderful. The gold on the armor is, is very clean. You know, it's a very efficient way of doing the armor. It's simply laying a base coat down, give it a wash, and then just edge highlight it. With the wash, especially it's noticeable on the nails that you know one would think, well, it's just as simple as laying out a wash on metallics. But really, one can take a lot of care in laying a wash. Wash using washes, it's the tendency is to always you know lay a heavy wash down. But really, with washes, the more advanced you're getting into brush technique, where a person can lay the brush down lightly and then allow the wash to pool near the bolts so that you get this harder shadow it's as simple as just using a wash but you create so much color transition in just that simple technique and then again you get you know the nice edge highlighting on it and it seems like it people believe you spent you know bazillion hours blending all these colors when in fact you only laid down two or three colors and which was is a very efficient way of creating a very 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 high tabletop standard and who doesn't love very high tabletop standard? I mean we buy all these models I mean all of us are buying these models for whatever game system and you know we buy them because we want to play with them we want to play with our toys Abaddon I imagine will be the same thing you're going to use him probably as many lists as you can I created like 20 or 30 lists with them already did you? Yeah. okay there you go see you're going to see him in a bunch of games. I imagine you'll feature him in uh, some of the reject videos. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That was actually his original purpose. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. To kind of introduce himself mm -hmm. and uh, smack Slaughter around because he's his boss. <laughs> so. yeah. The cracked lines in his bottom lip are painted in. 
I'm sure if you could tell that. I can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You just lay it in. Just lay the color. Just lay, lay, lay like a little pink or like a little red on top of that base color. Like how does one even do that? Like you would need yeah. one hair brush. No. Well, the Games Workshop brushes aren't, aren't sharp enough. Believe it or not, the fine detail brush from Games Workshop is not sharp enough to. So you have to use other brushes. You have to use. You have to go with other brands that can oh, provide you sharper brushes. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. I got to email him and ask him what kind of brush he uses. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Maybe he won't tell me. It's a trade secret. I'll yeah. tell you right now. <laughs> it's probably a Windsor Newton. Probably a triple zero. Do you have any Windsor Newtons? Mm hmm. Oh, I got triple zero, double zero, zero. I use the most. I mostly just use my zero because. It's fine enough to create detail. It's like an all-purpose fine brush. Yeah. Yeah. I'll show you a triple zero. So you have here the regular Games Workshop, well, the new, the newest version of the Games Workshop fine detail brush. Mm -hmm. Everybody's familiar with it, and the habit is always to click it too. But anyway, but see, it's got a nice little fine point. Now, when getting into a lot of these fine little details, often this brush can draw too much paint into its. Um, bristles mm -hmm. and often we w when we're doing fine detail work you often don't paint straight from the pot you paint on a palette mm -hmm. you thin your paint down you know so you got greater control but unfortunately this brush draws too much paint mm -hmm. into its bristles mm -hmm. so you end up going with a much tighter bristle okay like that this is a Windsor Newton zero and this is the one I most use for fine detail but it's getting a little dirty too. But anyway, this one and this one, you're not just like drawing it right into the palette. Like you're not blah, right in. You're just going into your palette and drawing a little bit of paint in, and then you're just going in. Okay. Smaller than so here. Let's let's look at a side by side comparison. So as you can see, mm -hmm. the two bristles. Obviously, the Windsor Newton is shorter, mm -hmm. but it retains that point throughout the stroke longer than this one. Mm -hmm. This one, and I'll show you real quick here. This one, as you push it along the surface of something, see how the bristles break apart? Mm -hmm. Whereas the Windsor Newton, when you're bringing the bristles across, see, the tendency is that they don't, see, they don't break apart as hard. Mm -hmm. And so, the shorter hair, more control, finer point. Now, the next size smaller, or not the next, but the smallest size is the triple zero. Or yeah, the triple zero. And look how much smaller he is in comparison to a zero. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That's small. Yeah, he's like a third of the size. Yeah. So anybody wanting to get into really small painting, there you go. You break out you gotta break out some serious weapons. <laughs> For serious painting, you got to break out serious weapons. Wow. That's a triple zero, huh? Yeah, top one's triple zero. That's awesome. And so there you go. Now, does it mean as soon as you get these brushes, are you going to be painting far sharper, better, with practice? Well, practice yes. plus a vault membership, seeing you how to paint <laughs> stuff. <laughs> that, that might And help. the vault membership. So where are they painting? What do you think? Thumbs up? Oh yeah, definitely. Very good. I like a lot of the stuff I see. Yeah, they have a lot of purdy stuff. Purdy. It's all so purdy. Talk about all these purdy models. This can help yourself. Just can't help myself. <laughs> Makes me want to jump around like a toady frog. <laughs> <laughs>